Hey guys, it is now week five, which I cannot believe. I can't believe we're already in the end of April. Um, we're like about a month away from the end of school. So that's just weird to me that we're already five weeks in and we're at the end of April. Um, this week, I would like you to, um, today, so Monday, I want you to record a video about um, what you miss most about normal life. So, or life before social distancing. So for me, um, I miss being able to go over to my best friend's house. Um, her, she has two sons that are the same age as my two sons. So we always just sit and get to talk while our kids run around crazy and then we get to hang out. Um, another thing I also miss is my mom. Yes, I can call her. Yes, I can FaceTime her. She's not the same. Um, she lives in Texas and the last time she was able to come out was the end of January. February, the beginning of February, for my son's birthday, um, and she hasn't been able to come out since, so I haven't gotten to see her in a while, um, and so it's just weird. Something else I kind of miss, which is a weird one for me, um, and yours can be as simple as this, is I just miss being able to, like, go to the store and just walk around and just look at things. Not that I have to buy it or whatever, um, but I miss being able to just walk through a store um, and not worry about like getting in and getting out as fast as I can. Um, yeah, so those are the things I miss. So I want you to record a video with something like that, um, something you miss. It could be simple. It could be really long. I, it doesn't matter. It's just always good to hear your voices. Um, something I have been trying to figure out with all of this new stuff is corrections. I know you guys have always done corrections and you've always enjoyed, not enjoyed, but you guys have gotten used to doing corrections. Um, I plan on Tuesday, so Tuesday morning, I plan on opening up the test so that you guys can do corrections. Um, again, the corrections are not for a grade just because the test is not for a grade, but it's just more of you identifying your mistakes so that you can do better um, in the future. Um, so I told you what we're doing Monday, Tuesday, you're going to take notes for line of best fit. Um, I just got done recording that video. I don't, I can't remember how long the video was, but, um, if you're like me and you want to redraw the graphs, um, they're the same graphs from the video before, but if you want to redraw them on the new set of notes, that will take you some time, um, and so that's all you're required to do on Tuesday. Um, quite a few of you guys went ahead and did the notes and then did the assignment last week. And that's completely fine too. It's just I don't want to require um, more than the 25 minutes that I'm supposed to. So Tuesday you're taking notes. Wednesday you're going to do an assignment kind of like you did last week. Where you're going to graph the points. This time you're going to graph the points and draw the line of best fit or the trend line. So you will have to submit that. So it's going to take a little bit more time. So that's why Wednesday you have um, just the assignment. There's only four problems. You can um, just pull up the PDF. It has all of the data. And then whenever you finish the data, or and then you're going to graph the data. And then once you graph the data, you'll draw the trend line um, and just take a picture. I feel like I just repeated myself, but sorry if I did. Um, Thursday, you're going to take another set of notes and do a short assignment. It's finding slope of those trend lines. So those trend lines, um, which you'll see, but it's just finding slope just like we have done. Um, so I don't think it will take you that long. I do talk quite a bit in the video, you know, kind of like I do all the time. But um, I do talk quite a bit in the video. So hopefully it's not that confusing. Um, there is one problem, or there is one thing on the notes. I drew a table and then I decided I didn't need to do it, just because I felt like you guys would understand from what I had already recorded. Um, it's actually number four from the assignment the day before, so you should already have the graph and the trend line drawn, and you could just try to find the slope. Um, it is number four from Tuesday. Um, what else? Um, I did want to talk to you guys about something. So we are coming up. We probably have two, maybe three weeks left of the data um, 
data analysis and this trend line and all that stuff that we've been doing. Um, but there is one thing I think I've talked about, mentioned it in a couple of videos is there's a unit that I feel like you guys would benefit from doing. Um, the, the last unit that we are required to do for algebra one for middle school is this data unit. We are going to finish and have time left. So I'm probably going to survey you guys and see if you would rather just do kind of review from the whole year. Um, or there is a quadratics unit that we never covered. Um, it was supposed to be covered in quarter four um, originally, but then they took it out. Um, it is very much beneficial for you guys to do it before you get to geometry. Um, there, when you're solving different word problems, different problems in geometry, they solve quadratics. Um, at least whenever I taught geometry, we did. And then it's where you start algebra two. I personally think that it would help you guys. Um, it won't be required, but um, I, what I might do, and I just keep going back and forth in my head, is I might either do have a unit that's just a review, and every, some people can choose to do the review unit, or people can choose to do the quadratics unit. I know I was in a meeting last week with a parent and a student, and the student said, and the parent said that they wanted to do the solving quadratics just to help them before geometry and help them before algebra two. Um, but I haven't talked to Mr. Haas yet about it. But I feel like that's probably what's going to end up happening is I'm going to have two units and you can choose either to go review or you can choose to do the solving quadratics. Again, it wouldn't be required. It would just be if you want the... Um, the extension piece, I guess you could say, or the stuff that will help you before you get to geometry. Um, I know I know for sure one student, I can't remember exactly who the student is, but I know I had one student that was planning on um, taking geometry over the summer, and I don't even know if that's an option anymore, um, because they're trying to get to calculus before their junior year, and so you would want to know that stuff before you would take if you were taking that summer course um but that's also where you start um freshman geometry or eighth grade geometry if you're a seventh grader so um that's my plan i haven't gotten it put together yet um but that is my plan is to do some type of quadrat solving quadratics and i probably won't do the whole topic it would just be like the biggest pieces in my opinion um, but I wanted to mention that to you guys so if you have a strong opinion one way or the other you could email me um, and tell me which way you would prefer to go um, you could even mention it in your if you've gotten all the way here um, you could mention it in your what you miss most about normal life um, or life before social distancing you could mention it in there and I'll take note of it um, which way you'd prefer, if you'd rather just do review, or if you would like to solve quadratics to help you before geometry and algebra 2. I feel like I just talked about that for a really long time, but um, I did want you guys to know where I'm thinking about going. Um, so again, miss you guys. It's weird being home. Yes, it's a new normal, but um, it's still a little weird not getting to see you guys and being at home instead of instead of being in class. Okay, um, guys, of course, let me know if you need anything.